Hello friends, welcome back to our UFF learning series. So this episode and a couple of more, uh, let us explore the UFF CRUDE capabilities. So we'll be exploring the different create, read, update and delete operations that we can perform using an UFF application. Now in this uh, case, what the challenge would be for the for being a UFF developer is expecting a, a real database server or API which they can you know consume uh, to make those crude operations because of the dependence of the different teams which are responsible for creating the API may not be able to provide the you know API to the UFF team in a timely manner rather they will be just doing a development and the uh, UFF team basically gets stuck with this dependency. Now to avoid this problem in UI5 I mean SAP has already provided certain options that is called a mock server okay so we'll be leveraging in this current episode about um, how to create a, or initiate a mock server or fake server so that we can make those crude operations on top of those server and we don't need any uh, database layer behind the scene to as a persistence uh, point so it will be just a fake server that can you know accept the different uh, post gate delete update kind of a calls from the UFF application that's a pretty helpful right so rather than waiting all the way from the uh, the development team uh, for an working api now in this episode we'll be basically spending time to build this uh, you know, mock server using a rest based approach so we can create order based also but uh, a rest based and order differences rest is not a protocol right as kind of an architectural concept and OData, you can call it as an implementation of this REST concept. Now, in general, in OData, uh, we have seen the different metadata kind of a concept is there, metadata XML, which can be used uh, to directly bind to get the label or maybe the data length or maybe different uh, types of the data that you can use it directly, kind of a you know, data structure that you can get in, in, the, in a OData service. But in our REST-based mock server, we will not be providing any kind of a metadata-based concept but will be you know providing our local data uh, to feed to the server we'll see in detail how these uh, things will be uh, developed uh, in architectural concepts we'll be shortly checking into so that's our uh, route for today and in a subsequent few episodes we'll be keep lingering the same topic on the screwed operations because it's uh, very important and uh, probably in one video will not be uh, sufficient uh, to you know explore all the different aspects so let's move on further and see how this one we are going to create so in general concept is like an uf web application start with index.html uh, if it's a desktop application and then it's calls a component.js right we have seen that's a global layer of our application and therefrom we can have our different local json model which you can bind to our views or you know uh, different element binding or property binding we have learned already but in this particular uh, scenario, it will not be that concept to be followed, but little change will make. So we'll start with a mock server.html, which is a replica of index.html and a little bit of change. Of course, we'll, we'll see that soon. And it will not directly call the component.js, rather it will call something a different layer, which is called init mock server.js. So this name itself implies it will basically trigger the mock server. Now, this is the mock server. As we have seen, we don't have any database link to. So we'll be feeding some local JSON data. And the structure of this JSON will be as uh, similar as we have this real API would, would have been provided to us, right? So the same data construct will be providing as a kind of a local feed to this uh, particular file. And to create this mock server, it will be basically using two files, two libraries. One is a fake race.js, right? And another is the synon.js. Now synon, if you already know that, it basically a test double kind of a concept, uh, which uh, is a very popular library used for the testing part, uh, testing features for any other applications as well. So and we'll be using the same synon.js and we'll do a monkey patch with this fake race.js so that both together will be providing a kind of a test double or kind of a fake server for us and which eventually can call component.js. Now within component.js, we'll be not binding this local JSON, rather we'll make an Ajax call, right, to, to our server. Now Ajax, uh, probably you know, it's an asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Yes, I know, 
it's basically misleading uh, it is not the response will be always xml uh, it can be a plain text or even a json based of course so in our demo this ajax file will send uh, a request or get request to the server and it will send back a json response and that response will bind to our json model and that eventually will be uh, you know linked to our a few elements of view, uh, view control. So that pretty much uh, that our plan for this episode. Now you probably will be asking like, uh, what are the difference between these two? I mean, it's a fake uh, uh, server or mock server. Is it equivalent to this real server? Uh, of, of, of course not. So there is a good documentation already provided by SAP. I'll give this URL to the description box of the video. You can check this out from there. And like the different features that are supported by our Odata V2 mock server. And most of the things supported here, as you can see, the batch processing, multiple service, ETAC, even the March patch, and different other filter queries that ODATA supports that this mock server will be also supporting in our ODATA V2 mock server. Okay. But uh, certain things are also not supported. Uh, they have also mentioned over here. So let us use the your command to create the application. Okay. And as a UI5, just a generator template I'll be using to create a template UI5 application, uh, which is an easy UI5. And on top of it, we'll be adding the uh, mock server. I'll not be recording these steps because I have already uh, demonstrated this approach in our previous tutorial, a learning series. So you can follow along from there. So this all install the dependencies and my application template is created. Now, if I just go to package.json, I'll see something, a uh, script command that is available called start, right? So let's run this command with npm run start. Actually, just open index.html, which is available under web app here, okay? Voila. So this application is up and running and it's a scratch screen, nothing there inside. And let us enhance this application to add our other feet or mock server. So as per plan, let's create the mock server.html first. So for that, let's create a mock folder in our UFF application. So within this web app, let's create a folder and we call it as mock. And within this folder, uh, we'll be creating uh, our new file and I'm calling it as mock server.html. Now, as we told, like this mock server will be just a replica of our index.html. So let's copy this file content, and put it inside. Now the difference, as you have noted, like this mock server will not call component.js directly, but something in between as an init mock server. So let's change this setup. So you can see this particular on init it calls a component support, which actually triggered the component or chairs. So for, instead of doing it, let's change this line over here. And for that, we'll be creating one more folder and inside this web app, let's call it server. And under this server, we'll just create a new file called init mock server.js. Okay, so copy this particular namespace first and replace this particular component support with that. Replace all the dot as a forward slash as kind of a relative path. And once we have done that, so this actually uh, refers to web app of this application. So now on, on this web app, Right, we need to go to the server and there we'll be able to map our init mock server. So let's put server here and then init mock server. So now this is actually linked with our particular file and we'll be now creating this init mock server.js. Let, let us copy paste the code and I'll explain what uh, we are doing. So let's go to our init mock server. It's empty file, so let's paste it over here. Let's minimize this part. And as we said, like we'll be using some sort of, uh, as, you know, Sinon kind of a Sinon.js, right? And we'll be uh, 
use this signal to test double the fake server and here what we are doing we are basically generating uh, this particular uh, product or json we'll be using a northern product we don't have a product file as of now we'll be creating under the service folder so let's put let's create a folder called service uh, and just put a product.json okay service i think i have created it as a file i'll be creating as a folder service right so under the service we'll be adding a product.json so bash script yeah so now let's use a call command to grab the product.json so that already i have somewhere here so this is the v4 model of the northwind product so copy this url and paste it here within a quotation then we'll be creating a file called products.json so this will have now yeah i think it's created not within service but outside because we didn't open that folder directly so let's this is the thing that created so let's go into and put it into the service folder cool so let's close this so one of the session is still running now if i save this one i will get the json is a as a json fashion now we need to change this value because we are saying that it's a product so not a value so we'll just change it to products and we'll be removing this extra layer because we don't need to parse that content and if i just scroll down at the end we'll be seeing something called auditor link so that is also not required okay if i save it so it's kind of a valid json that we have created so now what will happen once we this particular feeding is happening we have just displayed something as a local json feeding so this feeding is happening in this particular uh, particular line and once this is created and then data is actually available to my gate call now we'll be calling this function called init app with fake rest we haven't yet done with the fake rest anything we'll be shortly doing it then we'll be calling this function so before we explain this one more thing we have to we have to know uh, in the npm we can use npm fake rest so this is the package available as a fake rest we'll be using this one and the corresponding github project you can find over here this is a github it's a, this person has created marble up it's a fake rest so this is very popular right a lot of forks and a lot of stars got so this one will be using okay that that actually is in synon.js as we have just explained now to do that we need basically one a minified version of the of the overall uh, fake rest so let's, let's stop this server okay for the time being we put it npm install uh, i for install short form and let's put fake uh, in rest what will happen it will install fake rest to my node models okay yeah fake rest is installed so let's open node models and if you just scroll down a little you'll find something called i think here right fake rest so if we ex expand this you'll get a distribution folder and there we'll find something called fake rest.min.ch so this is what the file that we need okay anyway so what we'll be doing in this we'll be copying this file to this particular service folder okay that where we, our product.json is residing so let's create a new file called fake rest i feel min minified right uh, .js okay so this is a minified file and yeah i think i have put uh incorrect value instead of hyphen it should be dot and yeah so that probably the thing that we want now go there to this file how whatever you have it just copy it control c and put in in this empty file and just save it okay so this file got pasted nothing to do with this uh, so let's close this file 
close this node modules also. We have fake res.min.js. Now this fake res.min.js that we need to be loading through our mock server. So for that we go here and under the script tag, right, you can add one more script tag. Just paste this content, saving it. So what will happen now in the init mock server, this fake rest will not be a problem. Okay, so this will be available uh, once we just you can ignore this a type script ignore. So this fake rest will be available because we have loaded through a script from uh, uh, syntax. So it will be available. So once we have this data, so this data ordered as nothing but our local feed or local JSON that we have fit to here. Then we'll be creating this fake server and we'll be initializing this data REST server. This is called a REST server basically, right? Now the Sinan comes into picture. So, and the Sinan will create a fake server. The Sinan job is basically doing a double stop, right? A stage double. So this Sinan, Sinan will uh, create a fake server and will be providing certain configurations on the server. And this part I will explain a little later. So this add filter part is very important. So we'll come to that a little later. And once this is done, this server is created. This is called a monkey patching because this is our actual race, fake race server, which we created through this option, right? So that will just add it to this Sinan saying like a hey, create this fake server using this fake race, right? So that's the kind of a double or test double kind of our, our faking is happening over here. Now, once it is done, so then my fake server is, is running up and running and now we can trigger our component.support. That means this is actually triggering the component.js as we have explained. Okay, from init server, we'll be calling this component.js. So one important thing probably when I install this npm fake rest, uh, because I basically don't need this module, right? Uh, so I just did this npm fake rest you can put, uh, put probably minus t because this this way it is not actually uh, deployed to the uh, cloud or uh, server because we don't need this file uh, for our dependency in our models right so it will be just installed as a dev dependence now this uh, init mock server is there and what else now to do as per the diagram we have to make an ajax call from this component or js to this server so let's do that so let's create an app model first under this model folder we create called app uh, model dot js okay so this app model will be containing an extension of our json model let's paste this content it is nothing it's just taking the json model as a dependency and then it's just extending with a child class with the same name that we created the file so this app model is a, just an extension of a local JSON model and that we can use in our component.js. So for that, we just, you know, can grab this one, the same name. And under model, uh, we can use the app model, right? I think that's correct because this is what we need uh, in our component.js. So now app model is available. So what next we want? We want this app model to be added as a dependency and we have added this. Let's take that instance of app model in this function as an input argument or parameter and then we'll be using over here, right? So let's paste the code and see what it is doing. So first we have taken this app model and this app model we have just added as a dependency. Then we are making kind of an Ajax call, jQuery.get, get get call we are doing. We are telling the content type will be the JSON uh, response that we want. And what entity we are looking for, we are entity looking for is called the products, right? So that is what our uh, our things, let's, let's quickly see that. So this is the products that we want to look for. So this is the kind of a path that we are setting it up. And then what we are one, it's a kind of a callback function, right? And this callback, we are just getting the data. Once we get the data, we just set the data to our JSON model. We just created a constructor, right? Instance of that. So there we are just adding this value. And if any kind of an error handling we have done. And finally, we are attaching this uh, JSON model with a named model. And the model name I'm given is a products because I may use other models also. 
so that's why i prefer to give always a model name so this is the products i have given the name which now actually available at the component.js layer so obviously this model i can access from any views now so our next journey would be now the model is available we have made a get call the data is available and we'll be need to now render this data to the ui so we'll be having a, already a view created by the template and under this more content we can add this and within this content you add the list to display all the data okay so this is what we want and let's see what it's showing it's just a list and the products is the model and uh, this model uh binding to the products directly right so that's why the only the uh, forward path i'm given and just added to all the kind of a property binding as as you have learned already last time nothing much over here so what will happen if everything works fine data fetched model displayed then i'll be able to see the data right so for that what we can do in the package.json let's create one more route for testing so you can just duplicate the start command and you can put a name called start mock but instead of open index.html it will be mock server right mock server.html but this mock server is available here mock server i think this is available under mock folder right so put a mock or slash now a few things i need to take care of uh, like in a mock server uh, you basically copied the content from index.html and there it was okay this namespace we put as a dot because index.html was available under the web of folder directly but in our mock server it is not be the case it is actually available under mock folder so we need one step up so that means we should be having double dot so that one change another was this uh, init mock server we have put dot it should be forward slash because it should be the path as a server under init mock server so that is the one change also in the component.js we have copied these models so under model we have models again this is incorrect so this models we have mistakenly placed so let's correct it app model so these two changes i want to perform and now run npm run start and then mock once i run let's see what happens the mock server.html will be loaded and voila you see the data is coming right and all the way from the mock server now let's a uh, quick uh, small thing so in the mock server let's change our fury theme as uh, dark right and if i save it now open this file it will be now coming as black theme yeah all theme is the black now let's let's stop this one server and run the other one called npm run uh, start so that means it will run the execute the index.html normal file and it will just open the file my and now it is the theme is different and it see the new data found because we in the index.html we are basically not making any call uh, to to you know the server the mock server is not initialized so that's why the data is not able to get from the server and that's why no data found i hope this discussion was helpful to you in the subsequent episode we'll be extending the same topic but it will be more of a detailed pitch creation and different buttons that will be creating on top of to achieve the crude operations so if you are interested to this kind of a discussion i hope you will be subscribing the channel if i'm not done yet and don't forget to set or enable the bell icon because the moment I'll upload the next content, it will intimate you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll be joining soon.